Good morning, it's Sheila from She's a Sassy Lady, and this morning I have so many, so many wonderful, wonderful things to share with you. First off, uh, we had our card marathon yesterday. It started at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and we didn't wrap up until 8.30 last night. And each lady went home with... 26 cards. Can you stand it? 26 cards. I had, and I have to give a big shout out to my daughter Jennifer. I actually had a procedure this week so I couldn't lift anything. And my, jo my daughter Jennifer, she's a co-hostess, but I tell you what, she stepped up to the plate and she was there to help me all the way at the end and uh, to get everything set up. And even my granddaughter, Sydney, and her little girlfriend, Hayden Claire and they just helped out and I just want to thank you thank you especially you Jennifer thank you I love you and I thank you at any rate let's move on because you gotta see each lady when they arrived at their place setting you know how I always leave something at the place setting well you saw me make this and I, this video is going to be a little bit long because I'm going to show you every one of the cards that the ladies made but this was I want to show you what the ladies look like this was, um, this is uh, what each one of them got as a gift, one of the things that they got. And this is from the last card party. This is Taylor. And last card party was Taylor's first card party. And Amy, May May Made It, was telling her something. And she was there also. And she's at MayMayMadeIt.com. And you all love her. So this is my daughter, Jennifer. And let's see, who do we have next? Ah, this is my friends, Anita and Laura. And they, we're in the same Sunday school class together. And uh, we just have a great time together. And it's really kind of nice to have friends to be able to come. My daughter, Jennifer, this was the last card party. Her friend, Allison, who uh, we were filled up. She didn't get her, her okay in fast enough, her, you know, saying that she wanted to come fast enough. Um, but she'll be there next time. She's not going to miss another one. And then, of course, that's me. And that was uh, back in June. Okay. Here, show you a little close-up. Okay, that's the three of us. And this is my friend, Laura. And here is Anita, my friend Anita. I already showed you a picture of Anita and her daughter, Abby. Abby comes also, and she's wonderful. Abby, though, I tell you what, she can come up with some challenging cards. And then Anita and I and our daughters, Jennifer and Abby. We love Abby's cards, but we always tease her because they're so hard. And Abby, Anita, and Laura, this was in June. And this again was in June. This is Anita. Amy and May May made it, and her assistant Taylor. And Laura. Laura has become quite a card maker, and matter of fact, she had the best card this party. Anita and her daughter Abby. And Angie was there last night, or yesterday, Angie and Jennifer. And we're almost done with the pictures. And me and Anita. And every lady got these pictures. Aren't they awesome? Uh, I had a couple of duplicates in mine, so sorry about that. I, uh, I actually made a couple more than I should have. So every lady got one of those as a gift, and that marked their place setting. And we had the little girls. We didn't want to get anyone upset, so we had the little girls put the place settings on so everything was there. And then we had um, a sassy lady with a number on the back of it at every place setting and the number was the number that they used to vote with and I'll tell you about that that was so exciting and it was also the number that we used for door prizes because we had door prizes too this is the second gift that I gave each one of the ladies and Dawn and I can't think of her name or her last name she's a stamping up demonstrator showed how to make this card set on her blog and I had to get it and I had to make it for our uh, ladies at the, and we're going to call, start calling ourselves the Designing Dixie Darlings. Anyway, this is a little card packet, and it holds two note cards. There's two envelopes, and then two note cards. And I made this for each one of the ladies, and look at that. Uh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It's embossed. 
it's stamped and embossed and then with the little beads on it and each one of them got that um, this one I made for someone else I didn't keep one for myself I made this for someone else and she will be getting it in the mail as a little gift to just let her know that I'm thinking about her and uh, I can actually say her name because I know she doesn't even know that I have a blog her name is Clarice and Clarice will be getting this in the mail she's a lady that I used to work with sweet sweet lady and uh, that's going out to Clarice so we'll move that aside so at any rate let's get to all these cards look at this stack look at this isn't this exciting so I'm gonna make we're gonna muddle through this is the first one and you've seen this on my blog already and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see these cards better I made this one this is one of my cards and I have to tell you had a lot of things a lot of stress in the past past month so I spent a lot of time in my scrap room my cards are not difficult this time but I made a lot of them uh, this one I love this card what a nice friendship card this is good times ahead an encouragement card things like that. This one is made by Angie. Isn't this beautiful? Look at how that just sparkles and glitters. Isn't that nice? And then the inside. And again you can use it as an encouragement card, a friendship card, or you might want to even save it for Valentine's Day. But I wish you could see this paper. I'm hoping my camera catches a little bit of it. It just glistens. She Really the paper is just awesome. Now this is Taylor. Taylor's card, isn't this just too cute? This little owl peeking through and she used a banner on the inside. She used one of May May's Christmas stamps. Owl be home for Christmas. Isn't that just too adorable? And I've already got that stamp set. It's just too awesome. I can't wait to use it. You can use it on your critter cartridges. And this is one Jennifer did. And these are little like starbursts that are cut through the textured card and then she put a little piece of bling in there silver bling isn't that beautiful and on the inside it's always laugh always love always hope what a nice friendship card that is isn't it this next one was made by Anita and Anita made a fall card and this is so pretty it's she sent me a picture of it ahead of time I have to tell you and I looked at it and it just doesn't do it justice the picture look at this is she used the cuddle bug folder the Swiss Swiss dots and then we popped up the little um, scalloped circle and put the beaded pumpkin on it and she's got matching orange envelopes how cute is that for the fall next card is made by my Jennifer and Jennifer did this uh, and I can't think of the name of the cartridge Oof. I can't I honestly can't think of the name of the cartridge and this is glitter paper underneath and I don't know whether the camera picks that up or not glitter paper and then the and then a metallic silver paper and on the inside it says love and joy to you and yours and that was a close to my heart stamp set so isn't that beautiful so I've got a wedding card and then my first Halloween card of the season and I gotta go out just a little bit to fit this one on this was made by Laura she's become quite the card maker I want to tell you this is so cute look at this happy Halloween with the bats on there and these are all little pieces cut in and to stagger this isn't that beautiful and look at the inside with the little bat and she's got a matching black envelope to go with it now this next card was made by my daughter Jennifer and this is for cancer uh, as you know uh, breast cancer as you know October is National Breast Cancer Month and we have a few friends that we know that are battling cancer right now and so uh, it was very appropriate for all of us at the card party last night because you gotta know I mean we know a lot of the same people so the only thing is when we would make a card right away someone would go I'm claiming this one for and because we know so many of the same people we didn't want to send the same cards so 
my card is in waiting because I didn't get my mouth open enough or fast enough to claim it. So I get it for the next one. Now this next card, Amy, May May made it made. Isn't this just too cute? These are this is one, two, three layers of paper. The orange, the purple, the green, four layers of paper, the black, and then she took and she inked up torn pieces of paper and we made a little mummy with that. Isn't that cute? And on the inside she used her Halloween stamp set. Yummy, yummy, mummy, mummy. Isn't that just too cute? I love it. So I have two Halloween cards. Then here's another card by Anita. And it's a, we love Anita's happy birthday cards for men. She's really got a knack for making these cards for men. And I use them all the time. And it's just nice and simple because that's what the men like. They don't like the fluff stuff and the flowers and that. And she does such a good job of it. And it's just a happy birthday card. And it's for our guys. So thank you, Anita, on that. And this card was Abby and made the envelope this morning for it. And this is a Christmas card. And it just is simple. It says joy. And then Merry Christmas on the inside. And I want to tell you, we all looked at Abby and I went running up the stairs. Because she had this pleated. She folded them and pleated this all the way across. Well, I, I started laughing. I said, Abby, that's wonderful. It's beautiful. And it really was. It was absolutely, totally gorgeous. And the young ladies did it. They pleated it. My hands are getting old. And I want to tell you, I have the hardest time pleating. So I went and got my crimper and I crimped mine. And look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? So I, I am jealous of Abby, to be honest with you. Uh, but I just couldn't, I didn't have the ability to fold it up anymore like she does. So the accordion, that's the way I wanted to say accordion. This one here was made by Taylor, and this, whoops, upside down, this is a fall card, and I saw Taylor make this online, her first video, and she did a great job, but I want to tell you, this card is much prettier in person. She's got, and I don't know whether you can see the flecks of glitter, she had this all glittered up, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful little autumn card, and we really enjoyed it. Thank you, Taylor. And then this next one, can you stand it? I still got a stack here. This next one was made by Angie. Isn't this beautiful? And I did it wrong. Can you stand it? So I had to use my piece of paper because I already had the glue on it. I wasn't paying attention, I guess. And I have to tell you, you know, all these ladies, these newbies and novices, and some of the, the ones that have been making cards for a long time, we had the complete gamut of people. And I'm supposed to be the one that has all kinds of experience, and I would always come up when we'd have the contest cards, and we'd yell out our number in the order that we did, and I'd come up seven, seven, seven all the time, you know. At any rate, this one, Angie designed, and Sheila did it wrong. There's a little white layer sheet right here. That should have gone on the front below this so that it, it had another layer on it, and I missed that. So, uh, But it still it turned out gorgeous, and I love it. And it's got bling on it, and look at the dimension on this. Isn't that wonderful? Do you see that dimension? Thank you, Angie. Next card is one of mine. Actually, three in a row are mine, I think. Um... This was my little one that life gets wild. And so I, I did this and I did this online and I showed you. And on the inside, it's be still and know that I am God. And I love this card. It's a nice little shape card that you can do. I call it my A2 wide card. And uh, there is a video on my YouTube channel that you can find on how to make these A2 wide cards. Then this was just uh, from the Artsy card cartridge and just one of the simple S cards I was here let me widen this out a little bit I was uh, making I made a couple of them to show you how simple 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 they are to make and uh, I mean these were contest cards that went so fast and we just needed something that would be how fast you can make it and it doesn't get faster than these little S cards 
and they're from Artsy. And of course, you all know I love this one. I feel like a slug. Sorry I'm late. Happy birthday wishes. Okay. Now this one is from my daughter Jennifer and it's a very simple card and I have to tell you I did not do it all the way. I have not finished this card all the way. She had it where you could use it as a wedding or engagement card or an um, anniversary card or you could take it and and she because she had a little piece right in here on the inside of a metal um, um, charm that said love. And it was like chrome, like, you know, very shiny, very beautiful, elegant, elegant card. And I'm, and she said, you don't have to use it if you don't want. You can stamp it later for a sympathy card. And that's what I'm choosing to do because I, I just really need a lot of them. And this paper, I don't know whether you can see it on the camera or not, but it's flocked. It's a flocked paper. It is absolutely elegant. So, just a simple little card. Now, I have to tell you about our next card. It was a contest card. And on this card, what I did, and everyone's card looks different. I just put in a baggie. They would get a baggie, and in the baggie were all the pieces to the card. Now, this here was not a piece to the card. It was a... Um, it was an element that you could pick out of a box, and this was the element that you could pick out of a box. But everything else was a part of the baggie, and it was the creative card, and whoever did the creative card would win, and it was a really nice prize. And you had 10 minutes to complete your card. The instructions were, first, before they got this, before they got their elements, they were handed a box, and there were elements in the box. They had to choose at least one element, but if they were really gutsy and courageous, they could take more elements. Well, I took two elements. Some ladies took four. Some ladies only took one. But what I, uh, we did then is whatever you took, you had to use. And um, this is what my card looks like. And I tied with Amy and May May made it. And uh, because I was the hostess of the party, of course, May May won then. Uh, because I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't take a prize. And uh, at any rate, I was just thrilled with the way this turned out. And um, Amy's was nicer than mine, just so you know. So at any rate, that's the card. And you cannot believe one of them, uh, one of the gals, and I think it was Angie, turned hers into a rocket ship. It was a rocket going across here. It was amazing, the cards that came out with. And they each had nine elements. That's all that was in the card was nine elements. And then they had to choose one and make a card within ten minutes. So that's that. This next one is one that my daughter Jennifer made. And it's a beautiful card and it is a sympathy card. And I believe this is from the storybook cartridge. Okay, and she cut the piece out, and the card color, I mean the base of the card, and the little swirl in here is the same color as this. It's just a monotone card, and the inside, just a little prayer that God will keep you in his care. Wonderful, wonderful. I mean, it could be used for a get well or a sympathy card. Um, beautiful little card. Love it. Thank you, Jenny. And this was one of mine. Well, I got two in a row of mine. This is one of mine. Um, this is uh, for a baby card. And this was claimed. I mean, instantly it was claimed. So I didn't get to use this one either because there's a new baby in our church. And it's a little boy. And Jennifer got that one. So it's about to get wild around here is what it says. Isn't that cute? Okay. And then this one is just adorable. Wishing you a doggone good day. And that was a close to my heart cartridge that I used. And um, I, th I think it was the art philosophy cart was the shape here. Next one is an Abbey card. Oh, we got this and I have to show you. The whole front is little pieces and you had to you could weave your pieces or you could stack your pieces but you had these little pieces she had a bunch of little pieces cut up and you had to do it so what I did on mine 
is I just put glue all over the front. I use my ATG and put glue all over the front and put down the stripes and then and let me see if you can see this and look at this paper I mean it's a damask and it's just gorgeous and it shimmers see that how it shimmers and then what I did is I wove the ribbon and one of those beautiful beautiful elegant elegant card and the inside and I have to stamp it yet yeah, she had a stamp set there for us but uh, I didn't stamp the sentiment on it. I've got a lot of close to my heart Christmas sentiments and I'm going to uh, put that, use one of those for that. And then one of my, oh no, I'm saving the two bestest cards for last. Look at this, Feliz Navidad. Now this is May May, Amy at May May Made It, made this card and it's a gift card holder. And look at this, it's Velcroed and you open it up and you just put your gift card right here in the center. Now, the stamp set is her brand new stamp set. It's a Spanish stamp set. And I and I laughed. It may, Amy's got, there's so many people that speak Spanish. And I told Amy, I said, the only reason, the only reason why I haven't bought this is I don't know anyone that speaks Spanish other than my daughter Jennifer. And I said, I don't know what to send her, you know, and she just laughed. But uh, it's been a very, very, very popular stamp set. So do get on Maymay's, uh, Maymay Made It dot com and order that stamp set because it's wonderful and it's selling like hotcakes so isn't that gorgeous that card just as cute as cute can be and the last card happens to be my favorite and it's and and I in more ways than one I have to tell you Laura was a novice card maker and Laura has turned out to be such a great card maker and this is her card now isn't that cute just as cute as can be isn't it Wait till you see this when I open it. Look at this. Can you believe it? And the little owls even have little feet. She made sure that they have little feet on it. Can you stand it? Is that just too cute? What a beautiful happy birthday card that is. And it says happy birthday to you up there. Musical and uh, uh, just as cute as cute can be. And I was just so impressed with this card. Everyone was. Everyone loved the little owl card. It's just too, too cute. So, but that's all of our cards, all 26 of them, ladies. Don't you love it? And I wish you could all come to our card parties. Uh, they're just so, so nice. And I want to tell you what I do. The first thing I do is I take all my cards out and I separate them and take all the white envelopes. If they're white envelopes, I take them away. And then I store my cards in plastic bins and I have my oh, I have an oversized card bin where they lay flat, and then I have my uh, A2 cards can all sit sideways like this inside, and then I can just go through and pull them out. And what I'm going to do now, because I have so many cards, is on the uh, art booking cartridge, there is a file folder. And I'm going to make file folders to put in my card box. So, at any rate, I'm not going to bore you and take up any more of your time, but I just had to brag about all those beautiful, beautiful cards that these ladies designed. I mean, how nice is this to spend an afternoon and all of a sudden you have 22 cards. And I mean, I've got Halloween cards, birthday cards, sympathy cards, encouragement cards, fall cards. I've got it all and I just am so excited to be able to share it with you and I wish you could all come to the card party. You have a blessed day. The next card party is going to be in January so and it's going to be at Amy's house. May May made it. I get to see her scrap room and I can't wait. She invaded mine yesterday. I say that because she was like oh, I gotta see this and I gotta see that and and I was so excited to be able to share it with her, my little room, my little corner of the world, as I call it. So you have a blessed day, and thank you for coming by and visiting me here at She's a Sassy Lady. And I'll be back next week with a project. Bye now.